In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create something simple and stunning like this. We start with a blank slate. So the first thing to do is to change the background to this exact color here. And to do that, you right click on the background, click on format background, and you have this pane that is opened. Then you notice that this is solid fill. It has been ticked. If it is not on solid fill, you have to just click on solid fill. Then you come to colors and you click on the eyedropper. So when you click on the eyedropper, you come to this background right here and you click on that. So it changed the background color to this background. The next thing is you insert a rectangle. So you go to insert and you click on shapes. So the rectangle we are inserting is this rounded corner rectangle. So you click on this and then you draw your rectangle. So you can edit the figure here. So let's work with 5.5. .5. And when you do this, change, you see at, at this top of this rectangle, you have this, you can use it to um, make the round more, more round or less round. So we want to have that perfect round. So you draw it towards the other side and you have something like this, draw it to the middle and you have something like this. So the next thing is you may duplicate this by using Ctrl D. You click on this and you press Ctrl D. So you duplicate this. Then you can use this to make a circle. So all you have to do is ensure that the value here and here is the same. So then this will be a circle. So let's just do something like this, this, then let's try 4, okay, 3.9, let's try 3.9, this might be a little too small, so, the next thing now is to click on this first, then you click on this rounded circle next, then you come to shape format, then you come to merge shape. When you click on merge shape, you click on subtract, and then you have this. Now, the next thing is to copy and paste, as you can do Ctrl D, then you drag this. Then you can Copy both, Ctrl C and V, or you do Ctrl D again. You have this. So, to ensure that it is well arranged, you can come to Format Shape. You can group it. When you group it, then you try moving it to this other hedge. Then you see this guide telling you that it's, this is the middle. So you have you have it like this. Then the next thing is you want to insert the... First of all, you want to change the colors. So to change the color, remember, you just have to like... Because we group it, it's, it's um, highlighting everything. But if you double click on this, it's going to highlight just this. Then you can click on the edge of, of it. Then you have color. You come to color eyedropper then you click on this color so that color has been changed then you do the same for the others so the next thing now is to highlight everything once again then you come to the outline it's also the same as this line here and you tick on no line then you want to um, write the SWOT the S W O T in this then you come to insert then you click on text box and you write your S with a capital letter you change the color of the text to white and you increase the font size
then you bold and you drag it here you can copy this and put it here then you you write your w but because w is just bigger you can reduce it you can reduce the font size then you drag it into the center yeah then you copy this again that's ctrl d to duplicate then you put the o you also have to drag this because it's not in the center good then you duplicate this again and you put the T it's already looking like it the next thing we want to do is we want to write SWOT analysis up here so you can just copy this text and you put it here then you write SWOT analysis you reduce the font so 54 and you drag it here good so the next thing is you want to write strength weakness opportunities and threats so for you to do this you can as well just copy this then you write strengths but you have to reduce this further and you can unbold it so you drag it over here then you duplicate this again so we want to change all of this to black or we can change it to the background color anyone so we come here change to black then we want to put those text that we have here but before that we have a line so you go to shape you click on line then you just draw a small line like this and you put it here but this is too long we can edit it from here i think this is fine so we have the line then the next thing is those text that we have here so we can actually just copy the text from here is the normal lorem ipsum text so we can just copy the text from here or let's just copy the text box from here and then we have it here so we can just copy that again and drag it here so this is the path that you change and you put your exact text like the, the actual strength the actual weakness of whatever you are analyzing so we can then copy these two and duplicate it then we drag it over here so um if we don't want to be a little bit extra this will work fine because once you put it here it would not show that there is something there is all this extra space but if you want to remove them it's easy just come here create a rectangle so 
so you highlight this okay we can actually ungroup this so i like this then you hold your control then you highlight this as well so when you do that then you now come to the shape format merge then subtract so you repeat the same for this but then let's duplicate this because we'll still need it for this other two so we'll do the same for this just click on any part here then you hold your control you see that there's a plus sign at the cursor when you hold your control when i drop the control that plus sign disappears but when i hold the control there's a plus sign then i'll click i'll click on this rectangle here then i'll click on match shape then i'll click on subtract so i'll repeat the same for this click on this hold control click on this match shape subtract click on this hold control click on this uh, messed up position this here click on this hold control click on this then go to shape format match shape subtract then we have this stunning powerpoint from scratch so if you like this tutorial kindly give it a like and subscribe for more tutorials like this see you on the next one